Tonight, epic battles are returning to CTV comedy with season three of Roast Battle Canada. Each half hour episode sees two pairs of Canadian comics face off as they roast each other in the hopes of being crowned the superior roaster. And I had the opportunity to sit down with one of the judges of the show, Sabrina Jalise, to learn more about the latest season. Take a look. Well, hi. Hi. Hi, great to see you. So great to see it's been you. so long. Finally. Yeah. How have you been? I've been really well. You, look you? fantastic. Do you remember our handshake? Yeah, well, it went a little something like... like... Boom, boom, boom. Hey. <sighs> Roast Battle Canada. Yes. Talk to me about it. Roast Battle Canada is honestly a show that we, we shoot in like a, a frenzy of a week. And by the end, I feel like I have a six pack. <laughs> I should have a six pack. It's truly funny. And it's nice to see roasting, comedy roasting has mm -hmm. always been something that I've been nervous about because I don't like to be made fun of. I like compliments. So if you want to throw one at me. But like the idea of standing on a stage yeah. and being eviscerated. I like. Have you ever been roasted before? I, I'm roasted on the show. You're roasted. Yeah, okay, they okay. roast me but on the show. Before that, had you been? Had you like had to take I it? I didn't. No, because I was like, I can't take it. Yeah. But as a stand-up comic, there is a roasty vibe. Like a lot of what you're doing is you're being a fish out of water, and you're pointing at like, well, that's you know, you're cutting to the truth of things. Mm -hmm. And what I've realized in shooting the show is I love watching comedy roasts when it feels like both of the people can go for a drink after right. and keep hanging out. It's like that kind of humor that you only get from really knowing someone and the places you can go when you really know someone. Could you imagine this guy with paternity cases? He panicked before he got the results because every baby looks like him. Sure, I look like all the babies. So Tagram really loves photography, but not because he has any artistic flair. He just really loves telling women to smile more. Kyle is a proud member of the LGBTQ. He's the G, you know? Gross. I have the perfect drag name for you. Anita knows job. Is there a line? There's definitely a line. And how and do you I know think, where that line is? I think that the line is you have a comfort with the other person and there's a truth to what you're saying that you're building on. I think like all humor is built on authenticity. So when there is an actual sort of connection and the two people that are roasting each other really know the facts about this person and they know that they can go there without completely breaking the other person, that's when it's all fun and games. And the show can be very um, funny and it can also come off as mean. But what I actually really love about the core of the show is we all have things that we're insecure about. We all have things that we could be made fun of about. And actually airing them and putting them out there and laughing about them is healthy and good. You look like Mowgli from The Jungle Book grew up and got arrested for stealing at H&M. Cassie boasts that she's never gotten COVID. Damn, girl, even COVID don't want you. You look like if the ugliest member of every boy band got together and formed a super group called Friend Zone. Are there conversations ahead of time about what the content's gonna be? I think so, yeah. but my job on the show is just yeah. like sitting between Russell Peters and yeah. Kate Trevor Wilson. Because yeah, I want to ask about the vibe there, because that had to be it's hilarious. It's fun. I mean, I've known Russell since I was little. I started doing stand-up at 16, and I was kicked out of this competition at Just for Laughs and lost my hotel room. And he was like, well, I got another bed. You can sleep on it. If, he goes, if there's a sock on the door, if there's a sock on the door, give it an hour and come back later. <laughs> so you've known him for a long time. Yeah, I've known him for a while. So yeah. it's nice to be working with him. And it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a joy to also get to discover all these comedians, because I've been living in the US now for you know about 15, 16 years. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to come back and have this curated sort of lineup of comics that are sort of the ones to watch here in Canada. Because you've been out of the country for so long, what's it like to come back? I know your family's here. It's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Leaving the States and coming back to Canada, it's like taking your feet out of a blender and putting them in a foot bath. <gasps> Oh, what a nice visual. At least politically. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's the winter, then it's like yeah. the footbath is over then in you're, LA. Then you're gone. Yeah, you're my dad then. is like, oh, I don't know why you live there. It's such a bad place. But we'll be there from January to March, <laughs> okay? You get lots of visitors, family. Yeah, yeah well, it's when things get cold here, they start loving America. Yeah, I bet, I bet. Yeah. Well, it's so good to see you again. Ready? Here it is. Bring it home. <laughs> Sup, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, watch season three of Roast Battle Canada tonight. That's happening at 10.30 p.m. Eastern on CTV Comedy. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.